Our goal today is to create a 3D futuristic city. So let's begin. First of all, we head over to pull out a cube. We'll bring it back some. Then we'll create a cylinder. We'll bring it back to about here. Whoops. We don't need to resize it just yet. There we go. I'll leave a little space. Now, what we'll do is we'll head in, pick our building material, and we'll select the round glass tower. Great. We'll do the same for our cube. Round glass tower. Okay. Great. Now we'll select both control cylinder. Now we have both selected and we'll head up to our duplicate. Duplicate once. Move back some. Make sure it doesn't block. Okay, see so what it look like. Good. Take a look at our thumbnail. Issue is we may need to move this over a little bit. There we go. And make sure it comes out in our thumbnail. Look in our thumbnail. There we go. We want to be able to see the other building. Uh huh. Just like so. Good, with a little space in between. Good. Now we'll um select our cube, control, select our cylinder. We'll duplicate and continue. Go back. We we'll make sure we can see it. Not thumbnail can see something. Bring it around here probably. Ah, voila. There we go. I can see it better. So in the distance, we have a large amount of buildings. Okay, good. And we may have to bring this building. Okay, good. We'll continue our process. Control select. Duplicate. And continue with our city. In the background. We'll duplicate again continue. There we go in the background. Again. Great. Again. And one more time. Okay. Great. So we'll take a look at it. See what it looks like in our render. Head up to our render, render option. We'll select render the screen. Right now, um, 800 by 600. Okay. Do a quick render to see what we have so far. Looks good. So, we have a nice futuristic city. And um, it seems like we made it to make our building a little bit taller. So while we do this, we'll add some more in the background so it fills out, going as far back as we can see, and uh, we'll make them taller. We may select some tall and some as short. So we'll continue. We'll 
move this over some here and then select and duplicate there we go good now the next thing is we'll select our first cube shift select the last so we have everything selected then I like to pick it up we just want to make sure it they all drop to the ground nicely now at this point we'll select a few so as to increase the size on some so it's like a cube Cylinder 2, Cylinder 4, Cube 5, Cylinder 7, Cube 8, and let us begin by increasing the size. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, take it right up. Great, so now we can see we have a few buildings that are small and some that are tall. Now let's take a quick render, see what that looks like. Great, our city is coming together. We'll select our ground to our landscape. Rock and grass. Ground sand, I believe that's what we have, but let's see. Okay, it's a little better ground sand or let's see what's this dry grass a little better okay so there we have a nice green look excellent I think we might need to add something let's see maybe trees let's see we'll add Okay, I'll add the white birch. Okay, it's already in the front. I think we'll bring it back a little around here. Okay, the problem is, we may have to increase the size of that building or decrease the size of the tree. Let's see if we can take it down a little bit. Okay. Uh, I think that might work. So let's um, duplicate this tree. Move it over some. Whoops. Okay. I think we want it right over here. Okay, we'll do the same thing, duplicate it once more, another, and another, we just have a few trees, and another, as we enter the front of our little city, and another, little inviting as we work up to our city and another and another of course we could paint in the trees as we like but this way we get to be more precise. 